Yo, what is going on guys, Dr. Grant here. Today I'm bringing you a lock picking guide with my best tips and tricks. You will need to put advanced theory on your character for lock picking. There's no point of trying to level it up in game, that just takes way too long. With that out the way, let's get started. So on the table here, I have put all the tools for lock picking we need. Let's start off with the three locks we will be practicing on. So first we have the iron lock. This is the easiest lock to lock pick. Now, with that being said, lock picking is not easy, but this is the lock with the biggest sweet spot, which makes this lock the easiest if you count out the weapon lockers. Number two, we have the silver lock. This lock is very similar to the golden lock, but with a slightly bigger sweet spot and you get a slightly more tries to pop it. And thirdly, we have the golden lock. This is the big lock. This is the lock you will be encountering the most since this is the lock that most people lock their base with. This lock is of course the hardest one of them all, with the smallest sweet spot and the least amount of tries to break it. With these locks there can be big sappers on. This is something people can add to their lock doors so when you try to lock pick it and you fail, you will get sapped and lose health. This is where the gloves comes in. The gloves will protect you from the sappers from a certain amount of time but the gloves also have durability, which breaks them down every time you fail a lock. So depending on the server settings that the server you play on has, the amount of tries will vary. We have two different gloves. We have the medical gloves and we have the insulating gloves. Out of the two, the medical gloves are the easiest to lock pick with, but they also have the lowest durability. I know you see four gloves on the table, but the other three are the um, insulating gloves in different colors. The medical gloves only come in blue. Keep in mind that lock picking with these gloves will decrease the size of the sweet spot on the lock you're trying to find. So basically it gets harder to lock pick with the gloves. Moving on we have the different lock picks. We have the normal lock pick which you get from bobby pins. This is the lock pick that breaks the fastest. We have the medium lock pick. This one is it's slightly better than the regular lock pick but there's not like a huge difference. Then we have the advanced lock pick. This is the best lock pick. The advanced lockpick gives you a lot more tries than the regular and the medium one. Now, one of my tips for the lockpicks is to not practice with advanced lockpicks. Reason being is that when practicing, you want to practice like it's reality. You will not always have advanced lockpicks with you when you're playing, and most of the time, you will have regular lockpicks on you. Also, another reason is that you want to practice with the hardest tools. If you practice with the best tools all the time, you will get used to them and it will make lockpicking with regular tools much harder. I've seen it happen to a lot of people, especially with people that are learning lockpicking, where they only practice with advanced lockpicks and ends up not being able to lockpick without it. They will have to learn lockpicking again with regular lockpicks, which sucks, so this you want to avoid. Moving on, we have the screwdrivers. There are two types of them. We have the regular one, which is red and have maximum 3 tries. And then we have the big yellow one, which is a juicer screwdriver with 40 tries. The only difference here is the amount of tries you have. There's no difference to the actual lock picking. Now, what we will be using for practice is the lock picking board. This is a great tool to practice with, since you have unlimited tries on it. And if you lose, you do not lose any fame points at all. So let's get started. The first thing you need to figure out is your sensitivity. For lock picking, it's good to have low sensitivity. I used to have a high sensitivity, but over time I had to take it down because it's simply much more consistent with low sensitivity. My sensitivity for lock picking is 4 and my DPI is 1500. So when starting lock picking, you're searching for the sweet spot area. And when you're searching, you're hitting F to check for the sweet spot area. So since you're limited on how many times you can hit F, you need to limit the area where you search, so you don't miss any checks. Because if you try to check the whole area of the lock, you're going to miss some sweet spot areas in your attempts, which makes your picking much less consistent. So when lock picking, try to search an area of the 90 degrees of range. It can be from the left side of the lock to the middle, or it could be from the right side of the lock to the middle, or you can do like me and search from the half of the right side to the half of the left side. It's hard to explain how the lock pick, but the basic principle is moving the lock pick into the sweet spot of the lock. So when practicing, don't just try to open the lock, but focus on learning how big the sweet spot area is. 
for each lock and how much you have to really move your mouse in order to open it. Because the difference between the basic lock and the golden lock is pretty big. The basic lock you have to move your mouse around a bit, but the golden lock it can come down to moving your mouse a millimeter. Like that's how small the sweet spot is. When you're tapping F to find the sweet spot area, try to tap F as light as possible. Because if you hold down F for too long, the lock pick will break. So when you're surging, you're trying to tap as lightly as possible. And when you do find the sweet spot area, that's when you start to press F down more. That's when you have to start adjusting. Don't just hold F down when you find the area, but press it a bit more to see what direction you have to move your mouse in, in order to find the sweet spot. But start off on the basic lock. Get to know the sweet spot area, and when you feel comfortable with that lock, then you move on to the next lock. And when you get comfortable with the golden lock, that's when you start to practice with gloves on. My idea when practicing is practicing on the highest difficulty as possible to make normal lock picking easier. So when I'm practicing, I'm trying to practice with insulating rubber gloves and basic lock picks. You see how fast the lock pick breaks when you hold down F? This varies from each lock, but on the golden, it's pretty fast. Now look, learning lock picking is not easy and it's not going to be quick either. You're going to fail a lot and you will get angry when you don't find the sweet spot area. But don't give up. Just practicing 15 minutes a day will help a lot. It happens to me all the time where I don't find the sweet spot area for a long time. But it's fine. Sometimes you can get real lucky and find it all the time and then you'll be snapping the locks off. So just because you can't find it sometimes, don't give up my friend. You'll get there. Like here, I couldn't finish the lock multiple times and I got really angry. But we don't give up, do we? We will get it eventually. Now, that's what I had for you today in this video. Hope you find this helpful and I explained it properly for you. I hope so. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and please consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.